and hello everyone welcome back to a new video so today we are going to learn how to filter so we know how to add we know how to edit and we know how to delete from a database now what if we want to filter this for example what if we just want to see the people in the school mm, Astra what if, what if we just want to see the people in the school then we will have to filter that or what if we just want to see the grade 11s or the grade 10s or people with stories or people that are in grade 10 and in school Astra wherever that is there is so let's get started with that let's go add a button and let's let's just put it there we don't need to code it just first I want to show you something here in your DM connection where you are probably connected to your database as you can see here there are different categories or different um, columns which all have their own rows of specific values all of that things now let's say we want to without code we want to filter learner name we want everybody with the name CD however you say that or wait, let's, let's make it easier we just it would be easier if we just go with grade so we want the everyone that's in grade 10 we want to display all of those people so without code we can actually go here to this TBL music which is an ADO table because we are ours might not be the same and all we got to do is we got to go here to filter it we got to activate this so now it's true and then we go grade is equal to 10 so now we will see everyone that is in grade 10 only those that are in grade 10 are being displayed right now as you can see of course if we change this to something else such as all the grades that are more than 10 oh gosh cancel then of course we'll get grade 11 12 so yeah that is how you will do it without code I'm going to go deeper in how to do it with the code because that's what we're focusing on so without code that is all you have to do and if you have been following my tutorials up until now you'd probably know what to do in order to do this with code but I'm not going to take any chances I'm going to assume you don't so go back here and this button that we added first thing we want to do is we just want to change the name then we want to click on it okay so first thing we want to do is if we go here and we look at TBL music and we go to filtered you'd see it set to false by default of course you can come in here and activate it but for just to be safe it's always good to go with and then just go DM and put your DM there just so we don't have to do all the extra code TBL music dot filtered right there becomes true so this will make sure that it's being filtered if you run like this there should be no errors that pops up so just having it there doesn't really do anything wrong As you can see it doesn't do anything wrong so you can you can add that there as many times as you want now what you want to do is you want to filter it so tbl music oh whoa, what what whoopsie that was my mistake tbl music dot filter which takes a string so if we go here you'll see that there's a filter and we put everything in there so let's read to which let us try and recreate what we did so let's go grade and we make it 10 so if you click on it it should filter all the grades to only those that are equal to grade 10 so we go here we see all those grades there we click on filter and now it's only grade 10s pretty neat right now what if we wanted to do schools you know 
Now, first thing you might want to do is you want to, or first thing you might do is you want to go. I'm gonna say that first thing you probably are going to do if you see something like this, you're going to go school. Do that school, school, and let's pick school. Astra, because that's easy to spell. A S T R A. A S T R A. And this should work, right? It, there shouldn't be any errors that pops up if we do that. But if we click on filter right now, arguments are of the wrong type, are out of acceptable range, or are in conflict with one another. Now, that's because it this takes in a string. But the thing is, this is a string. So you might think to yourself, okay, but why did we just do double quotes then? Because that's also a string in most other languages. Even in SQL, that is considered a string. Well, filter and uh, that's not supposed to happen, right? Well, this is a part where Delphi specifically gets really ugly. Instead of using your instant double quotes, you should go quote, quote, single quotes here basically this is a double quote and this is a double quote you can even do that just to make it easier to read so double quote double quote you have to basically create your own double quote for this to work so we click on filter now as you can see everyone oh there it is everyone in the school astra is being listed so Everything you need to note here is just this is not the same as this. Or I should actually do this just to make it there. That is not the same as that. So yeah. Now what if we wanted to choose everyone? Let's go back here. And we go grade and we make it equal to 10. But what if we also wanted all the grade 11s or all the grade 12s? We can go or grade is equal to 12. Now, when you use or, it's a very good idea to just put everything in brackets, just so you can miss any errors that might come your way. If we click run, filter, and here on grade, you see grade 12, grade 10, no 11, nines or eights, just 10 and 12. And that's the or. Basically, it's just like an if statement if it's this or if it's this you know same thing but what if you wanted to make sure that if they are let's say grade 10 right and they do yeah yeah and they let's go expedition and they are don't know what it's supposed to mean, but their expedition is true. So grade 10 and a true expedition. So what we do is, uh, now I've got to try and remember that. So then we can go and expedition equals true. Now if we run this, we go here, there's the grade, there's the expedition, filter, all the grade 10s with the expedition of true. Okay, that's good and all, but what if we wanted to also take the grade 11s with the expedition of false? Now you can go or, and you can actually just copy this, and just to make it easier for everyone to read, plus, and then we can go to the next line, paste it there, and make this grade 11 with the expedition of false if we run this we shouldn't receive any errors and it should just give us what we want go here and then we say filter grade 11s expedition false grade 10 expedition true fairly simple now let's start over now what if we wanted everyone that is in a grade lower than
and 10, but not equal to 10. Then we can go where grade is less than 10. Go here, all the grades. Now it's only 8 and 9s. And what if we want it equal as well? We go less or equal to. There's the 10s as well. So basic Delphi operators also work in here. So yeah, the basic filter, there's nothing too special about it. It's fairly easy as well. Like we could do all of this in just two lines. If we remove this, then it will just be two lines. So yeah, that's been basic filters. I hope you all enjoyed this video and learned how to filter your own database results. And thank you all for watching. I hope I see you all in the next video.